Nice of you to oh join us, God. bitch. Wait, I'm what's your name? Irene Dubois. I'm Lux Noir Lunzen. You're gorge. Thank you. And what is that, 22 inches of premium human hair, honey? Oh, it's 40 inches, trust. <laughs> no, it's not. It definitely is 40 human. I think you might have gotten scammed, no, this thing. No, it's definitely 40, trust Do me. Do we have a tape measure? measure? I could not believe that the first second I walk in the room, some bitch is saying that my hair is not 40 inches. How dare you? Oh. Ow, my nose. <laughs> she kind of looks like Jan. Ah! <laughs> my first impression of Marsha, Marsha, Marsha's drag is basic. Princess Poppy's look is basic, but effective. I don't know if she's a painter or she may be a drag queen. She looks like a lovely white lady. <laughs> Lucy is one of the best hosts that we have in Connecticut. We go way back. I can't believe you're here. I can't believe you're here. Done drag for five seconds and you're already here. <laughs> I see Amethyst and I see her outfit and I thought, okay, I've seen it before, but it's nice to see it in the workroom. Oh, oh, wow. Don't be fooled. The camera adds 10 pounds. My name is Mistress Isabel Brooks, and I am the heavyweight champ from Houston, Texas. Yes, a big girl! A big girl? Where? <laughs> Look at those fitties. Look at those heels. What heels? Exactly. <laughs> OK, Biscuit Heel, I see you. The tiniest little shoe <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Oh. My. Okay, bitch, it's, it's game time. It's all fun and games till I come through. Let me out of bitch, I'm ready. Robin, tell me about your drag, because this is baby. I think that is my drag, just baby. <laughs> yeah. Robin's lace was reflecting from the duct tape under the cap. Prep is everything in drag. She should have wore a wig cap. Vinyl duct tape with all the lighting was a no-no, baby. What? Are there two of them? There's two of them. Are they twins? Well, this doesn't look like the toy store. Sweetie, that was my line. Uh, whatever. <laughs> what in the Maria, Kate, and Ashley's going on? They look like Romy and Michelle on an acid trip. <laughs> <laughs> when the twins walk in, I gagged. I think they're very annoying. Cause it's like, mm, baby, and I'm just like. So first week's gonna be a double elimination? Oh. So, mistress, I just got to point out, you said that you thought you were going to be second. Mm-hmm. And you were second. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wasn't being a bitch just to be a bitch. I knew what I heard. I wasn't yeah. delusional. And untucked. Marsha tried to dim my light. She tried to come for me, so I had to let her know that it wasn't giving, that she wasn't giving. I personally think I was behind you in the ranking. Marsha being realistic, I don't think you would be behind her because your look is kind of cheap, but I don't think during Snatch Game that you were that funny. Oh, uh, okay. Apparently, Marsha thought she was second place and she was amazing. And as someone who was there in reality, um, she wasn't amazing. Because reading is what? Fundamental! That's right. First up, Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Assume the position. Sasha Oldie, I mean Kobe. <laughs> the only continental I know is the one that I had for breakfast today. <laughs> Spice, the first person to ever make me wonder, is there a volume lower than mute? <laughs> Let's go, putas. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Girl, you've been in the bottom two times already. Yeah. Robin Pierce, another bottom you've been inside of. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You know, looking through your closet, it looks like you got everything from Marshalls, Marshalls, and Marshalls. <laughs> Anitra, darling, yes. we know you want to walk that <laughs> duck, but you could ditch the beak now. <laughs> Lucy LaDuca. Yeah? After hearing you sing, I think I understand homophobia. <laughs> Lux Noir London. Yeah. You know, another queen with three names, more like shut the f Ah, uh. <laughs> that's four. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lucy, sweetie, you're not loose. You're gaping. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysia baby doll. This baby has gone through puberty, darling. <laughs> Spice. I personally don't think it's fair to make her go through this competition without the other half of her brain. <laughs> 
Jax, Jax, Jax. So tiny and so adorable. I just want to squeeze you, but PETA would come after me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're the one trying to <laughs> me, so. <laughs> Mistress Isabel Brooks, initials M-I-B, which in her case stands for Major Intestinal Blockage. <laughs> Anitra, your name sounds like the insurance company Lucy had to call to pay for that shoddy facelift. <laughs> Robin Fierce, wipe laugh. <laughs> Miss Malaysia, I really think you should commit to the name Malaysia and disappear like that flight. <laughs> Selena Estiris. I think we can all agree when I say Yolanda shot the wrong Selena. <laughs> Mistress. Now I know we all read her for those kitten heels, but it's not her fault. They start off as stilettos. <laughs> That's it. Oh my God. Thank you, Rue. You are some vicious bitches. <laughs> Okay, the winner of today's mini challenge is Lucy LaDuca. Thank you. <laughs> so did anybody expect to be in the top and they were safe or in the bottom? I was shocked on behalf of my group. I thought that my entire group should have been in the top, honestly. Yeah. I'm glad that I was up there for us at least. Yeah. Also, a little birdie told me some things happened in Untucked. She's always got a little bird on her shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Malaysia had some opinions about how me and you were dead set on heavy metal. The reason why I stood my ground is because I felt like their group was being that. bullied. It was like, oh, we're doing it. It's ours. What I think we should stop using the bully word. Y'all were still giving us the same amount of pushback. After y'all had already like, okay, put y'all I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sick of talking about this. Please do not cut me off. Sorry. Ever. Okay, I'm sorry. Do not disrespect me. I've never disrespected you. Ever. Did you want to comment, babe? She said what I said. Oh. Okay. Yes. Work. I mean, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a very understanding person. But if you have something to say, say it to my face. Whenever I was laughing, it's because I think y'all were taking it very serious. So for me, I was just laughing because it really wasn't a big deal to me. Well, right, but you realize how patronizing that is when you laugh at people when we're all trying to figure out, like, a common solution. I don't appreciate Sasha trying to utilize every moment to be a teaching moment for us as if she is f***ing Dumbledore or something. If I felt I didn't think it was that emotion serious, in the you know. moment, I wouldn't have been doing it like yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's why I was like, well, maybe this is just like tactic just to like be like, you know, be like, in a group. Like not, it's not saying tactic is bad. No. But like just being like, oh, okay, well maybe like, let's just like, yeah, like, play, like have fun. A little, keep, yeah. Like, I apologize if I made yeah. you feel that way because that was not my intent. Like, so if I ever make you feel that way, all you gotta do is tell me. I'm a very understanding person, but what you don't have to do is speak about it when I'm not in the room. Well, thank you both. I like that we got to resolve that with my sister. Come on. Sasha used her words and we resolved the issue. And if you don't feel like talking right now, that's fine. That's all you gotta say. It's not funny. I'm laughing because it's f***ing awkward because we were in, in Untucked, bitch. You're mad because I'm I don't know what the f***. Now you're starting to piss me off when I don't feel like I did anything. Now I'm seeing Mistress's true colors. She's fired up and she's poking and she's being that mean girl. Y'all are saying like, oh, we could just have a conversation. No. You can have a conversation. Really? I'm an adult, I can have a conversation. I'm not gonna go back and forth on this conversation because it's getting nowhere. I apologize if I made you feel that way, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna apologize for how I felt in that moment and, and for how it and went. And that's the away. same way, and that's why I said what I said. Oh. Well, you have a blessed night, <laughs> as will I. This is a turning point. It was funny games before, but I think they're both pissed. Like, this is some real ish right here. The girls don't want to see me mad, trust me. Girl. I'm not going to apologize for having fun. But if y'all don't want me to have fun, let the games begin. Right now, it's like World War Drag Race. The battle is on. And may the best drag queen win. Spice. My big challenge for you, Spice, is going to be to do something different on the runway out here. It's literally choreographed the same thing every single time you come out. The purse, you turn, turn, turn. Yes. <laughs> Bored. I can spice it up for you. Spice. You are safe. 
You may join the other girls. Thank you, Rue. Cue the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time, I promise. Congratulations, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. You know, got a couple coins in my purse now. I'm about to act brand new. <laughs> I end up safe this week, which really burns my marshmallow, to be honest with you. I'm pissed. Okay. I'm very, very upset that I was not in the top. I'm surprised and um, annoyed. I think that I did extremely well in this challenge, and I think that I carried a lot of the scenes that I was in. Lucy, if you think you're perfection, there might be a case of drag delusion, girl. Well, girls, I have an announcement to make. It's been giving safe spice, but I'm officially entering my top era. I am going to trot my way up to the top. Didn't they tell you Baby, to stop doing that? Baby, they said to stop doing that. The CDC should really look into making a drag delusion vaccine because I think that at this point in the competition, the drag delusion might be contagious. Lucy, call Rue up. Tell me how you feel. I'm about to. 1-800-R-U-P-A-U-L. <laughs> <laughs> We are back in the work, girl, and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha's going home, home, home. She should have been home a long time ago, to be honest. Instead of me being in the bottom some of those times, it definitely could have been Marsha, so... Sorry, girl, I love you. you so, know. honey, how you feeling? Wifey. Oh, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, girl, who the f are you talking to? Are you excited to play a villain, a villainess? You know, it's going to be very different for me. Right, right, right. Because such a sweet person. Where are you going to pull from? Um, you know, there's this girl I, I once competed with, <laughs> and she would play like she wasn't a villain, and that made her even more of a villain. So I'm really, like, drawing inspiration from that. What was her, her name? name? Her name was Ducey. <laughs> <laughs> Ducey. Ducey the Duca. Mistress is playing the game at this point. I know for me, I'm playing this game with my talents. Who should go home tonight and why? Lucy. To go by track record. Um, Selena has been in the bottom a lot. Hold up. After you came to me and cried on my shoulder, now you want to say I should go home? Let's be real here. You don't like Mistress and Luck, so why didn't you say their name? Girl! Anitra. I feel bad saying statistics, but at the end of the day, that's the nitty gritty. I think I would have to say Selena has titties. OK. Mistress. If I had to be honest, I'm tired of being at the Sasha Kobe meet and greet, and that's my biggest competition. So sorry, auntie. All good. <laughs> Lux. You know, I think really analyzing the lineup that we have here tonight, I would say that Sasha Colby does drag on a level that is clean, cut, concise. But she just puts that little extra thing on it that makes it the Sasha Colby experience. Selena brings something so unique with her perspective. It has so much heart. Mistress, she also has a unique spin on what she does because she's not afraid to push the boundary. That is something that is very admirable. You never know what to expect from Anitra, and I think that the unexpected is something that I look for. Lucy does what she does exceptionally well. However, Lucy's drag, I would have to say, for lack of a better word, is a little on the more generic side. Everybody else on this lineup brings something a little different and unique. So tonight, I'd have to say Lucy for those reasons. Selena. Um, I'd first like to start out saying that the girls who said my name, each time I was in the bottom, they thought I was in the top that week. So, you know, if we're looking for America's Next Drag Superstar, that's someone who's bringing something fresh to the game. I don't see future of drag when I see Lucy. Sasha. Well, since you can't send them all home, <laughs> I would send Lucy or Lux home because they both have two wins. They're tapping on my ass, and I need the competition gone. Well, I gave a pretty long explanation. Everything that I said on the runway is 110% how I feel. I think that I did it in a way that was not meant to be disrespectful. 
or demeaning. Listen, I said it and I meant it. Lucy's drag is more on the generic side. I understand that you had to say someone, but I, I still, you know, can obviously wholeheartedly disagree with, yeah, with what you said. Of course. You know, because I'm going to. Lux seemed to really enjoy my drag when I was helping her during the comedy challenge, which I find interesting. I'm cool because I love what I do. I think I'm very unique, and I don't think it's a bad thing that I'm very good at a lot of things. I think that Lucy is holding back her temper tantrum, and I'm low-key hoping it comes out, baby. I'm hoping that she shows her real self. Like Ruth says, reveal yourself! Okay, bitches, so let's cut to the tea. What was everybody's first impression of each other? Lux was like one of the first people I met. Gorge, painted boots, but you're like so fun and like quirky. I love your um, crazy confidence. I was very happy that you look like your pictures. <laughs> and I hate when girls like are catfishes. Like I'm not gonna say um, say their name. Malaysia's baby dolls Fox's oh. name. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew who Sasha was, so I was like, okay, let's see if she's gonna be as sickening as people are anticipating her to be. And then to my surprise, she was. Surprise? I was hoping you wouldn't. I was hoping you would be erotic too. Uh -huh. But you're a sweetheart. I wasn't expecting you to be so nice, if I'm gonna be honest, because you have like a status. I was really refreshed that you were not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies, for the queens, you didn't get a chance to read this season. The library is about to reopen. Up first, sugar. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Daughter, gather them. Okay. <laughs> Miss Mother, hopefully I make you proud. Irene, Lux coins you as the swamp witch of the season. She's absolutely right. Because what witchcraft did you pull to only be in one episode and still get more screen time than Robin? Oh. Oh. <laughs> now how'd she get dragged? <laughs> Clock that <tea. laughs> Well, now that you went, maybe I should do a little read for you, because I never got to read you, Miss Lee. Ooh. Ooh. My sweet sugar. You know, you and Michelle Visage actually have a lot in common. Oh. You know, living in someone else's shadow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Princess Poppy. Or a Mayari. All of those muscles and only your ass is ripped. <laughs> you would know. And the rumors are true. I did give someone on set COVID. That's why all season long, Lucy LaDuca had no taste. <laughs> I mean. Okay, Sasha Colby, Michelle Visage said that you are a whole lot more than a body. And she's absolutely right. There's also about eight syringes of lip filler and two buckets of industrial grade silicone in your ass. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Selena Estides, I have met drag queens with fake asses, fake titties, fake lashes, but you're the first one I've ever met with a fake accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, white girl. Let me do a couple. All right. Amethyst, or as Robin Fierce knows you, arm and fist. <laughs> oh. And Mistress Isabel Brooks, the only thing shorter than those heels is that life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, ladies, the library is closed, officially. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including Brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.